hate having my photo taken. Well, it has to be said, Barry. I am the one with the looks. I wouldn't go that far. Oh, I've always been Auntie Beryl's favourite. Who says? She did. That time I put a spice rack up for her, remember? How could I forget? It was the only thing left standing by the time you'd finished. Fancy using a pneumatic drill. Anyway, in her last letter, she said she'd like a nice picture of the two of us. At least she's not writing to us through a solicitor anymore. What's that for? She thinks we live there. Why? Well, I did lay it on a bit thick in my last letter. Thick as a plank. Oh, that's a good idea. No, I haven't finished yet. Oh, you look lovely. Give it here. Give oh, it to me. You can't have Will it. Can I not finish? Oh. Now look. It wasn't my fault. Yes, well, concentrate. We've still got another two to come. Come on. Let's look at the stupid thing. Still going a minute. It must be broken. You didn't build this, did you? No, just concentrate. Any second now. Oh! Perfect. I'm not even on it. Exactly. Ha ha. It's a good likeness, though. Have you? It looks nothing like you. I look charming, sophisticated, debonair. That's what I said. It looks nothing like you. <laughs> Let's get it posted off to Auntie Beryl. Oh! <laughs> Emil, get it? <sighs> Some people have got no sense of humour. Oh, good. You caught it. Incredible. That's what I thought. Why, I've never seen anything like it in my life. Has anyone ever told you you have movie star looks? What's the movie, Frankenstein? <laughs> and that nose. Mm, it talks to me. Does it? Mm. Your nose speaks volumes. Leaks volumes, you mean? I've seen it. Mind you, it does run in the family, we are brothers. Hey, that's mine, give it to me. Oh, no, no, no. A talent like this belongs to the world. Hey? You have the makings of a top model. My card. Come to my studio tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and we'll take it from there. Gavin DeWolf, fashion photographer, model agent. Hey, I've always wanted to be a model. More than I ever did. Oh, yes. Lovely, beautiful cowboy. That's just wonderful. Wonderful? He's just sitting there. Yes, but it's the way he's just sitting there. When's it going to be my turn? Don't bug me. I'm creating. That's it. Absolutely perfect. Don't move. That's it. Beautiful. Now give me Butch. Butch cowboy. Yes. Picture yourself in the searing heat of the Texas Outback. Perfect. Yeah. Can't wait to see these. Let's go. Oh, nice. Very nice. Okay. Now, imagine you're in the jungle and there's an animal inside you waiting to get out. Yes. That's it. Okay, now, now lean up against it. Ugh. High seas next. That's it. Lovely. Beautiful. Now, captain's on the deck. Now, just a touch closer to the... To the anchor. I'll get it! That's the shot. Marvellous. Well, I think that all went very well. It's been a month now. <coughs> Hello? No, I'm afraid Barry's out in France on a photo shoot. You're welcome. Bye. <coughs> Hello? No, he's in France on a photo shoot. Yeah, I'm available, though. Charming. I'll have a read, I think. A day in the life of supermodel Barry Chuckle. The Barry Chuckle story. And here's new number one with Barry Chuckle. The river down was roaring. The moon over Rotherham. 
rather, um... Yes, well, we actually shot the video in Monte Carlo. The Bowery chuckle phenomenon, Rotherham's favourite son, continues to take the showbiz world vice. This man has it all. He's even on an advert. Women love him. He's everybody's hero. Men want to be him. And his secret? Wild wolf aftershave. A brush with destiny. Ah! <clears throat> Hello, Paul. I'm back. Really? I hadn't noticed you'd gone. Hey, Paul, I had a great time in France. Not just Paris, but the Alps, Dijon, Provence. Oh, and on the Saturday, we went down to the Riviera and had caviar on the Count's yacht. Really? Yeah, I went to the market and had chips on the bus on the way back. It's brilliant working for Wild Wolf. I know. They do everything. Designer clothes, sunglasses... I know. Aftershave... I know. I've seen the advert. Something wrong? Something wrong? You're in every magazine, you're on the radio, you're on the telly. It's driving me crackers. When am I going to get a job? Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. I've been a bit selfish. You have? I tell you what, I'll pull a few strings. Oh, you've got a puppet act as well, have you? No, I mean down at the agency. I'll get Gavin to give you a job. Really? No problem. Great! I can't wait. I'm going to be advertising. <laughs> Stuck out here in the freezing cold while he's indoors in a nice plush studio. Still, at least I've got rid of him for a while. Not again! <laughs> You're fired. What? Um, can't we give him another chance? <laughs> Stay out of this, Barry, darling. Go on. Barry, do something. After all we've been through together. Gavin, it's only his first day. <laughs> this is between me and him. <laughs> Remember all the things I've done for you? What? Think of the money. Yes, that time I gave you half my ice cream when you ran got one. Only because you'd eaten it. <laughs> and you're on a contract. <laughs> but, Barry... Leave him alone! What? That was a £1,000 wild wolf suit. Not made very well, was it? Any more, and you'll hear from my solicitors. Right. Time to play dirty, I think. Best foot forward. Yes? Um, backstage crew. Oh, uh, down the corridor, third door on the right. Great get-up. Thanks. Time to teach Barry a lesson. For his own good, of course. Paul! Hey, I'm really sorry about what happened. Ah, it's all right. Everything's sorted. Gavin's given me a job back. I'm your assistant. Brilliant. It'll be great to have you around. <laughs> Oh, better hurry up. Oh, it's the aftershave first. Yeah, let me get that on. Right. Oh. Oh, there you go. There's a big crowd. Oh, hey, don't forget this, will you? Off you go. Aha! Let's see how they like the essence of rotting cabbage. Urban casual. Right. A little itching powder, I believe. <laughs> they loved it. Yes, quick then, get changed. That's it. They're going to love this as well. Get down, 
favorite Wild Wolf Urban Cool <laughs> with your bad self. This is ridiculous. Wild Wolf sophistication. An evening with style. Right. I'll show them sophistication. Hey, they thought I was dancing. Right, quick, get this lot on. Oh, come on. And now, Wild Wolf presents sophistication. Sophisticated. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Oh, that's so old fashioned. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> you were simply wonderful today. You tore up the rule book. Well, I. Uh... Uh, what's he doing here? Well, it's all down to Paul, actually. His idea. Uh, yeah, right. Come on, Sue, Sue, Sue. Just a minute. You can't talk to me like that. Uh, you can't talk to him like that. Yes. I'm his official advisor now. Isn't that right, Barry? Oh, yes. He's going to come to all my shoots and all my shows. Great. No way. You're nothing but trouble. Anyway, it's not up for discussion, is it, Barry? No. Either Paul stays or I go. Not to worry. We'll open up our own agency. It'll be bigger and better than his. Come on, down the photo booth. No, I'm retiring. I don't like modelling anyway. Yeah, but... I... It almost broke us up. You're right, Barry. Well said. And if we ever do anything in future, we'll always do it together. Right. Hello? No, sorry, not interested. Who was that? An agent wanted me for another advert. Hello? No, my brother won't do it. But I'll do it. I'll be there in two minutes. <laughs> Come on, Barry. My ad will be on in a minute. Oh, here it is. This man has it all. Women love him. He's everybody's hero. Men want to be him. And his secret? Briggs Lavatory Products. Not to mention the new microfiber bristles for that real porcelain shine. Get yours today. You'll be flushed with success. What do you think? I couldn't have put it better myself. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get the lid off. Oh, I thought I couldn't hear that. <laughs> But to suffice to say, it's the most original and sophisticated movie you've ever seen. Is it? Yes, it comes to be an advert as well. Yeah. 